Hey guys, Stevie here. How are ya? Hope everything's going well. All right, we're back for another workout with you. So what we got today for you? Another circuit style workout, but today we're just using our bodies. And we're actually gonna do some fight training. Don't get too scared. Just different styles of punches, some knees, some kicks, and as well, we always got some cardio. Like anything, take it at your own pace. If you're brand new to these moves, slow them down so we can kind of master them before we pick up the pace. And as always, if you can only do a little bit, maybe you do one set of cardio and one set of resistance strength, or you just do the resistance or just the cardio. But try to get your warm up and cool down in. Those are always important parts of the workout. You wanna warm the body up safely and cool it down, bringing the heart rate down nice and easy. As always, I'm looking at a timer here, so I'll keep uh, you on track for time. And then you see me look down at the sheet of paper, which is my cheat sheet. If you wonder why I'm sweating already, I just went for a little early morning jog and I'm back, ready to work out with you guys. You ready? Let's go team. All right. We start with some knees up in front. Nice, light, easy jog. Four in, shoulders back, arms pumping. Options. Take it to just a knee lifting march. Keep going, keep going. So remember, I'll stop and talk to you guys, coach you guys a little bit correct some form, point to some things about some form. You guys keep moving until it's the rest period of the movements. All right, hands go behind. Squeeze the shoulder blades to open the chest, touch the heels up. Let's go. Squeeze into the backs of the legs. Options, keeping a little bit less impact or lower depending on if you have knee issues. We can keep the shoulder squeezing to open through the chest so we can breathe that heart rate to lift nice and high as we get ready for that workout. Nice work. Now you're gonna take it wide. Squat, swing your arms forward and back. Releasing through the chest and the back. Just let your arms go wherever they want. No set position for the arms. And then when you feel you've got to get for those, let's make some big arm circles. So moving through the shoulders, Reaching long, keeping that core brace, slight rotation through the chest. Big reach, it's comfortable. Go in the other direction. Some people do not like reverse rotation for the shoulders. If that does not feel good there, just keep them going forward. All right, feet at her hips, arms to the sky, fingertips up, toes up, reach towards the opposite foot every time. Lengthen, reach. Rotating through that center chest. So we engage the side body. Try to tap the toes. If you can, if you can't, no worries. Maybe it's just a small lift for you. But flex the foot to release to the back of that leg every single time. All right, last move. You know my favorite, to release the lower back. Wide squat. Push the belly down to arch the back. Tap the belly into round the back then stand up and reach tall, opening the side body. Then we repeat. Press, tuck, and then reach on the other side. On those reaches, really extend so you get that stretch from the hip towards the armpit. Down low, exaggerate that belly press and pull. What you're trying to do is help release the lower back here. Great move to do in the mornings when you get up, evenings before you go to bed, middle of the day, Especially if you have a job where you sit a lot, this gets compressed, we want to have some release to the lower back. Less pain in our life, more freedom of movement is what we want. Five more seconds. First move coming up, team. All right. Feet are going to go wide. Eight jabs. Bend your knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, out. Let's go. So, you're extending your arms nice and long in front. Bring your feet and hands together and opening back out. Keep going. Some things to look out for. Strong fist. We're not just pushing arms. We're rotating through this chest. Notice how my heels lift slightly as I pivot on the ball of my foot. Reach, lengthen, out. So the movement in punches, the power in it, comes not just from moving the arm, it comes from recruiting that core to create strong, powerful arm movements. Yes, in, out. Keep going. Five more seconds, then you get your 10 second break, remember. 
you breathe, you chill, and I show you what's coming up next. Time. All right. Knee lift and front kick. One knee, one kick. One knee, one kick. Join in, we'll talk you through. Pull the knee up, set it down, bend the knee, extend the leg. Up, bend the knee, extend the leg. So we're pulling down towards the hips, reaching out. Pulling down to hips, reaching out. You keep going. On the kicks, let's remember it's not a swing. You're gonna pull the knee up, and knee, extend, in and down. So this first knee actually sets you up for the kick. It's one, two, and down. Boom, boom. Keep going with the arms. And stack. Pulling to the hips, reaching. And if you want, slice that arm down outside that leg. In and slice. In and slice. Help you get to the side body. Might feel awkward if it's a brand new to it. Don't worry. We're going to repeat them later on in the class so you'll get more chances to practice it. Three more seconds. Nice. All right, we're going to come back to our feet wide. Nice, wide, strong stance. Hooks. Elbows 90 degrees. In for eight. Drop out in. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down, out, in. Strong fist. Rotating forearm parallel to the floor. Body similar to the jabs. Lifting through the heels. Pivoting through the balls of the feet. Boom. Boom. Strengthening through the upper body, engaging through the core. As always, you can walk back, you can walk in. You choose. 30 more seconds. Drive, drive. Now, rather than just sending the arm, strong fist, and to stop the body from keep going with that arm, draw the belly in. Boom. Core are the brakes of your car. Your car is your body. Eight of these, one down below. Keep going, 10 more seconds. Whew. Then we got some core for you, some focused core work. Three, two, one, on your backs. Belly raised, lower back down, triple pulse C crunch. Three, two, one, and release. Let's go, your turn. So knees, stop below the hips, shoulders release off the floor, and lift. If you need, do this as a one leg option. But can we keep the chin slightly tucked towards the chest? I gaze through those knees as we're lifting up. Now, this is all about form. Two legs might be too much, one leg might be enough. Belly drawing in, so lower back is pressing towards the floor or mat or whatever you're laying down on right now. And if you cannot get your shoulders up that high, that is all right. Maybe it's just a slight lift off the floor. The focus is, are we using these muscle groups to lift the body into this position? 10 more seconds. You got it. They're gonna hit that cardio team. A little bit different than usual, but sprint running. Three, two, eyes up real quick. Have a look. Six, five, four, three, two. Hold your one for a second. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Half second hold. Six, five, four, three, two. You go. Six sprints. Six, five, four, three, two. Half second. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Option. Take it as a march for six. All for one. March for six. All for one. We got it. Nice and strong. Lift. But if you can, if you're in the speed one, low, and as quick as you can go pumping those little arms. Nice work, team. Four more seconds, four more seconds. Ball drop jumps. Feet wide. 20 pound medicine ball. You pick it up in the air, bend the elbows, slam down. Pick it back up, heels rise. Down and up. Let's go, down, now your turn. Bend your elbows, slam down, pick it back up and reach. Down, up. At the top, heels, when your arms are up, heels up. If you want more, jump. Down, lift, slam it, pick it back up. So jump or not. If you're jumping, when you land, down and back versus forward, keeping the knees safe. Bum always pushes back and down, weight to the heels. Time, lateral side jumps. Side step, heels up. Slicing through the air with the arms. 
reaching for sky. Three, two, let's go. Out, lift, out, lift, out, up. If you're looking for more, hop, jump, hop, jump, hop, jump. All right, two options. Keep going, keep going. Remember, you always go until I say you can't go anymore. Then we're gonna get that break. Remember to keep your knees soft so there's somewhere to push off from every single time. Lift, quick or slow, jumping or non-jumping. Four more seconds. All right, pick one leg, put it in front. We're gonna put some moves together. One knee up, one punch forward. One knee up, one punch forward. Up and out, let's go. Up, out, option, jump, out, up, reach. Remembering our form, hands towards the hip, fist out, up, down. Little trick, think squeezing the bum as you're lifting the knee, pulling in and extending. So that way we'll get the core and the glutes at the same time in this movement, reach. Switch over to the other leg if you haven't yet already. Pull, out, lift, and out. Feet are about hip distance apart, so we're not standing right behind one foot or the other. Nice wide stance to your feet, help with the foundation of the movement. Up, out, my bad, up, and punch. You need a different move. Knee and punch, knee and punch, nine more seconds. You got it. Woo. All right, three, two, one, hang strong, eyes up, pay attention. Feet just outside the hips, back kicks. Knee up, push your heel, knee in, step down. Knee up, push heel, in, your turn. So maybe start slow if you've never done this move before. Brace with the floor as you press the heel away. Out and in, out and in. So you wanna make sure we're not arching the back. We tip the chest forward and we lean with the movement forward as the leg goes back. If you want more, start lifting with a high, or you can add some hop switches in the move as well. Keep going. So be mindful that the chest is coming forward versus rolling back. It's gonna involve all the core strength you've got. Press the heel away. And at the end of the move, what are we doing? We're squeezing those butt cheeks nice and tight every single time. Hang strong, 50 more seconds. Let me take a quick sip while you guys keep going, keep going, keep going. Nice, stay with it. Five more seconds. Then we're gonna work bilateral again, meaning one leg at a time. All right, what do we got for you? A hook and a cross. Pick one leg in front, feet hip distance. Hook, front arm, drop and extend the back arm. Let's go, in and out, in and out. Notice how I'm bending my knees, sinking into a lunge when I cross. Hook, slightly keep the heel off the floor. Push. This way we keep our knees safe in the movement. In and out. In and drop. In and drop. Drop into that leg. Looking for a bit more. Shh. Out. Big, strong. Exhales in the movement. Shh. In, out. Switch sides, same thing. Feet hip distance. Heel lift, knee drop. Heel lift. Knee drop, up and out. So feel free to get a little gritty in the face, a little strong in the exhales as we're reaching out. Shh, shh. Simulating a little bit of boxing style movement. If you don't like those terminologies, don't worry, just breathe. Can't quite connect with those meanings, it's okay. Whatever works to get you through the movement. Three, two, time. On your back, team. Little side to side. Anchor down, knees bent or extended. We drop, extend, in, lift. Drop, extend, in, lift. Let's go. Squeeze the knees together if you need. Drop, if you need, just extend the top leg. If you don't like the leg extensions, just take the leg side to side. Your focus is can you keep your shoulders down on the floor. So you're trying to engage your obliques here for this side body movement. Keep going. So the whole goal is not to take your legs to the ground or as low as they can go. It's about moving them with control, stopping right before your shoulder picks up off the floor. So if you need to close your eyes to help focus through what you're trying to do with the side body here, try to move the entire leg unit 
without moving your shoulders off the floor. Ten more seconds. Hang on to it. Whew. All right. Then we got some cardio coming back up. Let's do it in the reverse order this time. All right, rise up. Lateral slice. Out, lift. Out, lift. Same moves, we're just mixing up the order a little bit to make it a little more fancy. Out, lift. Out, lift. A quick reach. So remember, this is the cardio portion. We're trying to go a bit faster in the movements. Get a bit more heart rates for this guy. Out, up. Soft knees. What's your choice? Jump, 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 jump. Up, 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 up. Keep going, keep going. 10 more seconds. I know. This might be a little, little bit new for some of you, but it's good to try new things for the body. Three, two, one. All right, ball drops. This one stays in the middle. 30 pounds this time. Slam, lift up with the heels. Or slam and jump. Let's go. Down and up. But it's about being quick with the movement and good form. Push, heels, or push, jump. Push, jump. Hold on to that ball. Throw it down towards the floor. That's going to help me think about Core control for the movement, then extending hands above heart to make the heart beat faster. Stay with it. Five more seconds. Next move. What's next? The fast sprints. How do I forget? Six, five, four, three, two, one, chill. All right, hang on. Breathe. One more breath. As fast as you can go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, up. Six, five, four, three, two, one, up. Four. Quick stepping, marching, and lifting up. Keep going, team. You're doing awesome, you're doing awesome. Guess what? You're halfway there. Can you believe it? Just like that. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna repeat the whole thing. So I don't want you to have to rethink every single thing. I want you to have to focus on form and technique when we get back to the first movement that we did. All right. Feet step nice and wide. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Long arms, extending. In and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step in if you need. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In. Keep going. Now your eight might go a little slower than mine. It might actually go a little bit faster than yours. Than mine, sorry. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. You can go at speed if you want but only if you've mastered using the whole body in the movement as well. So remember, like I said, it might be new for you, but can we do this? Keep it tight, grab those fingers, but punching with long fingers. Strong fists help treat tension for the body as you're moving. In, out, keep going. You got 10 more seconds to go, then we get back to the second move. Knee lift, front kick. Ooh. How are we doing? Four, three, two, take a break. Check it. Knee, kick. Knee, kick. Up, out. Up, out. Three, two, let's go. Now, if you see me kicking high, you don't have to do it that high. Check the profile. Lean, slice. Lean, slice. Squeeze the bum. Squeeze the side body as this arm slices down on that kick. Making sure to alternate. Knee up, knee up and kick out and down. Just a reminder about those kicks. It's knee, kick, knee, step down, versus swinging or just kicking and slamming the foot back down. So slow it down if you need, because we want to make sure we stay safe for the knees and the lower body, so we can work it for as long as we can. Keep going. Up, out, up, out. You guys got this. You guys got this. Once again, no two for you. You get the hang of it. Stay with this. Practice makes perfection. Five more seconds. Hang on. All right. Three, two, one. Your hooks with your burpee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop, out, in, lift. Let's go. Your turn. In. Lift your heels, drive your fist inwards to their face. You can think of an opponent here, it's okay. We're not being mean. I'm just trying to give you targets to think about. If you're not jumping, walk, out, out, 
it in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. If you want, out, 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 jump. So you choose. Reach. As you can see, the strength moves build in a lot of cardio as well. So it's a strength class, but lots of cardio focus as well with it. Remember, heels lift as we pivot to the balls of the feet, rotating before we go down towards the floor. Hang with it. 10 more seconds, team. 10 more, 10 more. Woo. And then we got those C crunches. Three, two, one. Down we go. All right. Once again, core brace, the lower back is down. Three, two, one, and drop. Up, up, up. Let's go. Lift, up. Option, one leg at a time. Think about chin tucking into your chest, your knees looking, sorry, your eyes looking towards your knees or between your knees. Reaching your arms helps to lift through that pulse movement and then come back down. You're trying to sandwich your bottom abdomen, upper abdomen together. So an ab sandwich. So we get the whole thing involved here all at once. 30 more seconds. I know it's a long set. Hang with the team. Three, two, one, and down. Up, up, up. You got it, my troopers. So what are we called? Steva's Warriors? I think that's our new name, Steva's Warriors. All right, so stay with it, warriors. We're gonna keep it going, nice and strong. We transform those bodies and become warriors every day. Five more seconds. Then we get back up and do those fast sprints. Time. Remember, six, five, four, three, two, one. Half second hold, and go. So it's stopping on the dime. Reaction time training, let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Up, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift, as fast as your feet can go. Slowing down, maybe taking a higher elevation of the knees. Boom, six, five, four, three, two, one, up. Don't notice with your hands. Let it move from your shoulders. This, blade hands, whatever feels comfortable here. That's what you're gonna do. All right, five more seconds. And now the pound, the medicine ball is gonna become 30 pounds. All right, grab it, drop it, lift heels. Down, up, three, Two, one, let's go. Now really much visualize you're slamming it down and picking it up. So it's a big strong movement towards the floor, utilizing what's inside here. That wine reservoir, the beer reservoir, it's all good, you can have all those things, the cookie, the chips reservoir, it's all good. But what also is functional in helping our body become stronger. Down and up, heels up or jumping. Five more seconds. Then we get back to the lateral work. Slide, lift. So, start slow if you need to. Step, heels up. Step, heels up. Your turn. Out, up. And then you maybe start to pick up the speed. And maybe you feel comfortable to jump side to side. Softies as you land if you're in the jumps, so. Keep going. Squeeze to the back. Hands to sky to pump up that heart rate nice and high every single time. 10 more seconds. You got this team, don't give up. We go one more circuit, one more strength, one more cardio. We will get them together. Awesome work. Steve is the Warriors, all right, 10 second break. Whew. Knee and single arm. One, two, one, two. So I'm gonna pull the knee up to the chest, jab. Let's go. Lift, out, lift, out, up. Reach, up. Hand stacked. Pull down towards the hips, reach forward with a punch. Down, up, reach, up. Remember, you're gonna squeeze to the bum and a brace to the core. It's gonna help you lift with control. And we do the same thing, but extend the leg out and down. Three, two, switch to the other leg if you haven't yet. Remember, on the slice, we can do a lot for our side body here, if we think. Squeezing the armpit down towards the hip. In, so let's squeeze to that side body. So lots of nice, tricky little ways to get into the body without really thinking about it that much. 10 more seconds, hang on to it. Ooh. All right, what's coming up, what's coming up? 
alternating back kick. So, back to this. Time. Knee up, heel out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. Three, two, give it a shot. Have a look. Stay closer to the ground if we need. Push. Stay slower if we need. What I do want you to make sure is that we're not doing this. Arching the back. Chest comes forward as you push the heel away. Now if you're looking for more, add a little hop switch. Bend the knee as you land. Push, push. But the goal is to send your heel up and keep your toe down while you're extending the leg. You can keep your hands up to what we call guard. I think we mentioned it earlier. Beside your face. Shift the weight from side to side. Keep that core strong and push those heels away. You got it, you got it. I know fatigue might be setting in a little bit. Try to stay as strong as you can. Lowering the kick if you need or if you want more. Tipping further, lifting a little higher. See, the leg gets a little higher in that kick. Four more seconds. Whew. All right, hook and cross lunge. Pick a leg, doesn't matter, we're gonna use them both. Hook, cross, hook, Cross. Three, two, a leg goes in front. Hook, bend your knee. Hook, bend your knee. All right, have a look at what I'm doing. Your heel lifts as you rotate the arm. Come back down, drop it to the knee. So you're pivoting off the ball of the foot, dropping. Lower body looks like this. In and down. In and down. Push. What did we speak about earlier? Power in the punches. Drive your fingers in, in and out. Two more, switch sides, same thing. In, down, in, down. Even if you don't get that much movement in your leg, small movements help to keep the knees and the body correct in the movement. Create that power. In, out, in, out, in, out. Now, you don't need to go that fast, I was going pretty fast. What works for you? Five more seconds, hang on to it. Ooh, back to our leg pikes. Almost there. How's that bike go as fast? Shoulders down this time. Knees 90, rather than in front of the chest, above your hips. Out, drop, in, and lift. Out, drop, in, and lift. Reach, drop, in, and lift. If you find that's not comfortable, let's go back to the oblique, side to side, if you prefer. So just changing the focus. You can stay with the pikes, lower abdomen, or side to side for the obliques. So giving everyone options, depending on the tiredness level you're at, the fatigue level you're at, so you can stay with the movement, or just modify it for yourself. You're still getting to the core work. Side to side for the obliques, the pike release, maybe the lower abs. Either way, you're getting stronger for that midsection. Let's stay strong with it. Down, up, in. Reach, down, up, in. All right, five more seconds. Then we're gonna finish with that cardio. I know you're a bit tired at this point, but we're gonna give it all we got. Three moves, 30 seconds each. Up your eyes. You start with the lateral slices. Out, lift, out, and lift. Bend your knees to rise, let's go. Slice and lift. You're almost there. You're almost there, guys. Stay with the team. What do you say? It. Steve is Warriors. What do you? Steve is Warriors. I can hear you all. I can hear you all. Awesome. Reach. If you got it. Jump. 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 Up. 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 Keep going. Like, how do you want me to jump at this point, Steve? I'm so tired. You don't have to. Reach. Lift. Reach. Lift. Bend your knees and extend. Time. All right. Here's your 40 pound medicine ball now. Like, why is it going down? Why is it going up? Because you're amazing. All right, up, let's go. Slam, the heels. Slam, jump. You choose two different ways to get there. Like, don't just throw away that movement. Think about the power you need to hold onto that ball. Press it down, brace the core to lift it back up. You're almost there. 10 more seconds, then we got the sprint to take us home. I want you to imagine, everything's on the line here. Four, three, two, one. Take your break. So I want me to get to that finish line and get that gold medal. It's you to get there first. 
I want you to hunker down. Brace the core. Three, two, let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, up. Six, five, four, three, two, one, lift. Push, 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 push. Remember, I got you here to forget about you. Boom. What works for you is how you do it. Nice and strong team, drive. You're almost there, you're almost there. Do not give up. Keep going as fast as you can. You five more seconds. Keep going, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Ah, we made it. Good job, give yourself a round of applause. Yes. And I'm the only one in the room. I'm the only one here. I'm proud of a job that you guys did. Always, it's important to stretch after the workout. Grab a sip if you need. We're gonna stay on our feet to do these stretches. So step your feet just outside your hips. Swing your arms a little forward and back, releasing through the back of the chest. Awesome, we're gonna bring that heart rate down nice and easy. And so take all those jabs and hooks, that's released for the shoulders. Arm comes across. Gonna keep the shoulder relaxed as we hug in. Little tricep stretch, bend the elbow, reach behind. If you can't reach up for this stretch, hand in front, and gently encourage the arm to go back. Switching sides. Just let your heart rate slowly come down. You're making a plus sign with your arms here. Move this to the top of your shoulder. Bend behind. Once again, if your shoulder doesn't allow for this, maybe place your hand here and gently encourage the arm over to release to the triceps. All right, let's do some hamstrings. Feet outside the hips. Interlace your fingers. Let's do the chest first. Squeeze through the backs and the chest forward. Bend your knees and then hinge forward to where you feel it's just the hamstrings. For some of us, you might be able to go all the way down. Some of us staying with the knee bent and the flat back one's the best. However, it feels good to those hamstrings. Bend through your knees and rise up. Take one leg, swing it out. The different styles of stretching. It's called dynamic when you're moving. And static would be holding up, squeezing through those butt cheeks. To release the front of that leg. Switch sides. Same thing, swing through. Ooh, keep your core brace so you can stay stable like I wasn't doing. Heel to the bum, squeeze in the butt cheeks. All right, two more. Step one leg behind, the arm lifts, reach or extend. Release into that side leg and side body. Switch. Try to keep your knees bent, rise up, and extend. Always about seeing where this thing goes. A perfect song to finish with. Alright, last thing. Press the palms, drop the chin in towards the chest. And hopefully, you feel great, because that's the end of the class team. Awesome, so let me stop this before it goes. Makes a big loud noise. As always, Super proud of you. Big sweaty hugs for everybody. What did you learn? Maybe something new with some combat fighting techniques? But always remember, take it at your pace. New things are challenging for the body. Maybe you do this one a couple times before you get the hang of it. You know what? Options are there for everybody. I always tell you all of these. Options don't mean less work. They just mean different way to get to the same way. All bodies are different and all bodies are amazing. Want to say thanks? you for always hanging out with me. So, Steva, signing out. Peace, love, always. Bye, guys. See you.